Israel is the center of Jewish life today in the world, thanks to God. It is the spiritual center, and it is um, the place where which each Jew, wherever he might live, calls home. And you're here with important messages. One of these messages is actually targeted to the right. One of the reasons we came to Israel is to discuss mutual issues with, uh, uh, with politicians. And one of the issues we're having is that within the Israeli right and the religious right in Israel, there's some voices saying, okay, let's sit together, let's, uh, together with the ex European extreme right. Which uh, parties are you talking about? I'm talking especially, let's say, for example, uh, the Party of Freedom Party in Austria. So when people hear that claim, they might say, listen, now they're the good guys. They like us, they support Israel, they support even building in Judea and Samaria. Let's forget about their past. Um, I, I really ask myself if, if anyone who does this will go over to a Holocaust survivor and will tell him, who might be his father or grandfather or grandmother said, listen, I'm, I'm going to sit on the same table and have lunch with a member of the party which was founded by an SS officer. How will this relative take this, uh, they, take this news? We Jews, we have a very long memory. We look into our future using our, uh, the, uh, the history of our past. It's also a moral question. And we, of course, we believe in Teshuvah, we believe in uh, in, uh, in the ability of every human being to change, and every uh, political party can change as well. But has this political party really changed? Have they, are they not racists anymore? They're as racist as they were. However, the ch change, the primary target of racism, it's not the Jews anymore, it's somebody else. Today, what will happen tomorrow? Let's not forget the attacks against religious freedom of the Jewish community in Europe, the attacks, on, attacks against Shechita, and Brit Mila, and later against Jewish education and religious education, comes from these quarters. What are the responses in Israel? You spoke to many uh, dignitaries. What are they saying to you? The official response of the President of Israel, who we met two days ago, and also the Speaker of the Knesset and other ministers, is uh, Israel is not going to deal with these parties unless the local community is going to deal with them. However, there are some politicians uh, in the Knesset who have not received our message yet. Therefore, I would like to, the wonderful conduit of uh, Arot Sheva. We dealt with many different topics. We dealt with the relationship with the chief rabbins of Israel, of mutual recognition, also recognition of uh, Giyur, and etc. It was a very lively discussion yesterday. We discussed also the way of fighting together against BDS and anti-Semitism, as well as uh, issues of religious freedom. You know, there's always the question, who helps who nowadays? Uh, back then, Jews helped Israel be established at the beginning, and now we're hearing also the other way around. We need us Jews around the world, we need Israel's help. Israel used to be a third world country. Today, Israel is a first world country. It is, it is a wonderful country. In terms of uh, startups and high tech, it's even more advanced in Europe. And uh, with all its security problems, Israel is an extremely attractive de destination, even for Jews who do not make Aliyah out of ideological or religious reasons, but just as of quality of life reasons. How Therefore, we say in Israel today, let's not forget a few months ago, Israel passed a new state nation law. In this state nation law, it says that in Article 6, that Israel is responsible for the continuity and the safety and of the diaspora communities. We have to make sure we have millions of Jews outside of Israel, in Europe, South America, and the United States. Many of them, maybe most of them, are in danger of assimilating. Israel has a great responsibility today, and we would like to partner with Israel in this responsibility. In 30, 40 years, our children and grandchildren will ask us, what have you done in 2018 in order to make sure that 5 million Jews will not disappear? Is Israel doing enough? No. Not yet, or you're afraid that nothing will happen? I think much more can be done and should be done. Israel is on the right track. I think the, uh, the, uh, this new law, nation-state law, clearly states this um, challenge. And we are here to work together with the Israeli government to do this.